If you are engaged with the CNC turning machine, you must be familiar with the words like VNMG, VBMT, DNMG or WNMG. But do you actually know the meaning of these words? Let's find out. Hey guys, hope you're doing fine. Welcome to another episode of CNC Talks. My name is Aman and in this video, we'll discuss the nomenclature of an insert. So watch this video till the very end and let's roll. So an insert is basically a cutting tool uh, which we use during turning. Uh, this is how an insert will look like and there are different kind of inserts we use during turning. Uh, for example, VNMG, VBMT or WNMG, these are some basic inserts. Uh, inserts varies from different sizes to different shapes and selecting a proper insert is yet another important thing. Also, the name of the insert describes the whole specification of that particular insert. So let's discuss the nomenclature of an insert. Now let's consider a CNMG insert. So in the name of an insert, there are basically 4 letters and 3 numbers. So each letter has its own meaning while each number has its own meaning. So let's give positions like number 1 number 2, number 3, number 4, number 5, 6 and 7. Now let's discuss the meaning of each of the position. So the letter at first position defines the shape of an insert. So if the letter at first position is R, it will define a round insert with 360 degree of angle. Similarly, if the first letter is S, it will define square insert in which the angle between two faces is 90 degree. Similarly, C defines the diamond insert with an angle of 80 degree. V defines the V shape insert of an angle of 35 degree. T defines triangle insert of angle 60 degrees, while W defines wedge shape insert of an angle of 80 degrees between these two faces also different shape of inserts have its different use uh, as the angle increases uh, for example uh, in v shape insert the angle is 35 degree while in wedge shape insert the angle is 80 degrees so as the angle increases we can use those kind of inserts for roughing so in this case the wedge shape inserts can be used for roughing while the insert with least angle suppose a v-shape insert with 35 degree angle these inserts are mostly used for finishing uh, and also the mid-range inserts like t-shape uh, insert which is of 60 degree angle these can be used for uh, finishing or for roughing as well so the letter at position number two defines the clearest angle for an insert uh, so clearance angle is basically angle between the face of insert with the vertical axis. So in this case, the angle of clearance is 0 degree. Also, as you know, this edge is only responsible for cutting and if there is no clearance angle, this whole surface will remain in contact with a workpiece in this way and as a result we'll get a poorly finished surface uh, so that is why clearance angle is been given in the inserts in this way so inserts with clearance angle only this point which is the cutting edge will remain in contact with a workpiece and we get a properly finished surface so as you can see if the second letter is n uh, it means there is no clearance angle in an insert. Similarly, B defines the clearance angle of 5 degrees between these two surfaces and E defines a clearance angle of 20 degrees, C defines clearance angle of 7 degree and similarly P defines a clearance angle of 11 degrees. Uh, but nowadays in most of the cases 
N shaped inserts with no clearance angle are mostly used because uh, in a tool holder the clearance angle is been already given so there is no extra need to give another clearance angle in our inserts although these inserts with different clearance angles are also used in some cases also uh, the third letter defines the tolerance for that insert so tolerance is basically permissible variation from the basic size of a dimension uh, so let's suppose the diameter value of this hole is 2.03 mm with tolerance of plus minus 0.01 so this 10 microns tolerance defines that this diameter uh, could be 10 microns plus or could be 10 microns minus so the range for this dimension will become from 2.02 to 2.04 so that is why this is the tolerance for an insert so as you can see different letters defines different range for tolerances so in case of A the tolerance varies from plus minus 0.005 mm up to plus minus 0.025 mm uh, similarly in case of M the tolerance varies from a minimum of 0.05 mm to maximum of 0.13 mm also the inserts with less tolerances are extremely high precise but extremely expensive as well and similarly the inserts with greater tolerances are less expensive but also less accurate and precise and now the letter at position 4 defines the type of insert and also the type of chip breaker used in that insert so if the letter is a it will define a plain insert with cylindrical hole in the center and with no chip breaker so in this case uh, the material removed will form a long chain in this way also if the letter is m it will define single side chip breakers and the chip formed in this way since there are chip breakers similarly if the letter is G it will define double side chip breaker with cylindrical hole in the center and if the word is R it will define no center hole and with single side chip breaker if the letter is N it will define no hole and no chip breaker and also Q defines the no chip breaker and double side shank hole now at last there are three numbers at position 5 6 and 7 which are 12 04 and 08 so the number at position 5 12 defines the length of the cutting edge so in this case this is our square insert and these are our two cutting edges so the length of this whole cutting edge is 12 mm similarly in case of a diamond insert uh, 12 defines the length between one cutting edge and second cutting edge which is 12 mm so also at number 6 zero 04 defines the thickness of our insert so our inserts may be of different thicknesses so in this case 0 04 defines 4 mm thickness of our insert and finally the number at position 7 defines the radius of our cutting edge so suppose this is our insert and this is our cutting edge so 0 08 defines the radius of 0.8 mm for that insert so that was all from my side today if you find this video informative give it a big thumbs up and do share with your friends for further queries you can also dm me on instagram or facebook at it cnc talks and if you are new to my channel do subscribe and press the bell icon thanks a lot